My name is Debbie Booth and I am with Adult Protective Services with the State of Utah. We receive allegations from various resources, whether that be family, friends, and typically what will happen is our investigators will go and they will talk about the circumstances surrounding whatever was alleged to us. Say for example, you suspected something was going on with, with a person that you knew. Your identity remains confidential. So we would talk to you because obviously we want to know what the circumstances that made you call, but certainly the alleged victim or the alleged perpetrator is not going to know that you made that phone call. So sometimes we get calls from a variety of people that maybe think they, they saw something and in effect it wasn't. Uh, what they thought it was, but again, we really appreciate them making those those referrals because we would much rather have over reports than under reports, quite honestly, so that those vulnerable adults in our community are protected. We don't see a ton of physical abuse, although we do see some. I would say our highest allegation is financial exploitation and care, caretaker neglect. Most of the time that we see with financial cases, they are family members that are committing the financial exploitation. If nephew is going and asking grandma for, you know, 50, 100 bucks every day, and grandma doesn't necessarily want to give it to him, but she feels like she has to, then we educate grandma, but we also educate maybe this, this grandchild or nephew's parents that it's not appropriate and they need to take steps and, and perhaps the grandchild as well. And the law says any person who has reason to believe, it doesn't mean you have to know, if you have reason to believe that a vulnerable adult has been the victim of abuse, neglect, or exploitation, you must report. Each of us can do something in making our vulnerable adults more safe and more healthy and our community better.